So I've been very lucky and I've managed to pick up two of these Hornby Railways original APT train packs. Now I expected these train packs to come down in value on the internet and places like that when, when Hornby released its all new tooled APTP. However, that doesn't seem to have been the case and they still seem to be fetching quite a large amount for an old model. Now uh, I'm going to say that on average they tend to see sort of be go between the sort of 120 to 200 pound plus mark for these older sets, which when you think about it, a 200 pound that's almost half the price of a brand new all new tooled version of the apt from hornby so i actually bought both of these together at the same time from the same place i got them from mick at durham trains of stanley to find one is lucky but to find two at the same time well that's just brilliant now the packaging has seen better days this one still has its film on the front although it's really very tatty around the edges this one's really tatty around the edges and doesn't have the film on the front anymore at all but that doesn't take away from the fact that they still have their packaging and the polystyrene inserts seem to be in reasonably good condition so we're going to take a look in one of these packs and can tell you the differences between the two they are exactly the same train they're both the city of derby set out of the two sets this one here on the left this one seems to be the better of the two in condition wise with the right one being just slightly behind but not by very much but we'll take a look at what is different with the two sets quality wise over the years as we go through this box here on the left if you're new to the channel or you haven't already don't forget to smash that subscribe button click on the bell icon select all and you'll be notified every time we upload new content so inside one of the packs and it would be this pack here we've actually got the instruction and servicing leaflet still intact and the bit that really blows my mind is when you look at the top here with the stamp with r794 and it's got 14 1982 1982 this set is now 40 years old it's still boxed it's still in good condition and it's just amazing to think that it took 40 years for the actual release of the apt set to come out again we know it was announced a couple of years ago but it took 40 years from when this set was produced for the new set to get produced so that sort of blows my mind a little bit there but here we go it is a five car set so you've got all of it a little bit of information on running it and things like that and the fact that it's got the tilt action this does have a metal pantograph which you fit on separately they have a tendency to be something that is missing when you buy these sets online or auction websites if they're not missing they tend to then there might be a little bit of damage to them but i can tell you that this set has an intact and functional pantograph there in metal unlike our new tooled hornby apts so you've got a little black and white photograph there at the bottom of the set on the track as we turn it over onto the next page and we've got a little bit about power control connections to the track track assembly assembling the track and then we've got operation and maintenance now this operation and maintenance also brings up the connectors which are different between the ndm unit that's the non-driving motor unit and the rest of the actual coach and driving ends they have different connections they share their they quite literally share their shared bogey so we've got a little bit of information there on that on the next page it's got about lubrication adding and removing the actual power pantograph removing the ends and the body sides and things like that to the actual power units for servicing lubrication all that kind of thing and maintaining them and replacing the bushes and things like that it's also got a little bit of information there on the back on the actual driving trailer lights with its pickups and something that we don't see anymore because it just doesn't happen anymore is the early version of your dcc the zero one so it's got a little bit of information there on actually fitting the zero one modules into the power unit and as there's also a service dealer network which in itself is a great read just looking at some of these things and um, just seeing these model shops that some exist some don't exist anymore now for the zero one module now i'm going to show you a little screenshot here this is something that when i actually got both of the sets i test ran them to see if they would work and neither of them would run so i immediately had a quick look inside because i thought well neither of them run i didn't expect them to necessarily run i thought they might be fixer uppers at the price that i paid at a 125 pound for the pair that's all together so i expected some issues didn't really know what i was going to be getting into and lo and behold i had a bit of an interesting discovery one ndm unit had a dcc chip fitted and one unit had a zero one module fitted now the one with the zero one module unless the person had a zero one controller i have the feeling that that set hasn't been run for quite some time unfortunately i don't have a zero one anymore so i removed that zero one module and and then I took to the DCC one and I placed it onto the track and tried to identify 
what the number was of the chip and weirdly enough it couldn't be identified it just came up with error after error after error after error rather than messing around and getting really upset about it because it had been hardwired in i made the decision to just remove the chip so they're both down to analog at the moment i might change that in the future but at the moment they are down to analog i removed both the chip and the module from both of the units so uh, we needed to see if they were going to be running or not and lo and behold both of them run so uh, let's get inside the box so the box has seen better days we can still see here something that is really quite interesting for me is the free membership and travel vouchers with a full five pounds everyone a full five pounds the happiest club in the land starts here it was the rail riders membership so uh, we've still got that sticker on the top it's a nice little bit of a history there especially saying as we've now got rail riders out there again now so as it says on the packaging it uh, contents includes two driving trailers a power car and two van trailers so let's get inside the box so something i thought i'd have a quick look at here on the back just before we look at the units is this wonderful artwork of the time on the back of the box absolutely it still looks stunning now for me anyway this artwork on the back it's totally of the time but you can see just how amazing that train would have looked back in the early 80s i remember seeing the train set version of this pack in the model shop at newcastle when i saw this train set sat there in a display cabinet i remember asking the shop assistant behind the counter exactly what this train set was as i'd never seen it before and we're going right back to those early 80s i just remember being absolutely mesmerized by this train set so there's the back looks absolutely great brilliant so there we go we're inside the box and as i said before we have got got the infamous pantograph there and it is in good condition it's still spring loaded still pops up and down still holds it there the other set i'll tell you now the other set doesn't have the pantograph i'm not too worried i've got one here and i've got a feeling i'm going to be looking at getting or making a 3d printed one really for the other one unless one of these comes up at a very good price and it would have to be very good because i've noticed when they do appear on ebay and places like that they th these pantographs on their own have been going for 30 odd or more pounds I believe i even saw one at nearly 50 pounds just for the pantograph but they are one of those things that have a tendency to be broken or missing so we've got the pantograph there and as the box said we've got our driving units we've got our motor unit and we've got our two coaches there as well and uh, there's some major differences between this and the new set but i'm not going to get into that too much because i'm going to do a video very shortly where i'm actually going to put both sets together and we'll have a look at exactly what the differences are so here we've got one of our driving ends and uh, well for a 40 year old model it's still selling itself to me in this condition there's very little damage in the way of scratches or pa paintwork blemishes and things for a 40 year old model there are little ones there but you know at the end of the day these have been used so very quickly this area here is plastic perspex or similar it's exactly like the way they used to do the short mark freeze or mark free stubbies that hornby produced whereby you've got a bit of transparent perspex and it's had the, the paintwork print put onto it so you've got our silver surrounds around the windows and this gray area along with this white line running down there it's all part of a separate piece of plastic to give you those windows there's plenty of molded detail along the lower portion of the body in fact i think this is more pronounced this detail than it is on the newer tooling we've got our print of sc48101 and you can just say make out the molded detail there of the door handles and the actual doorway for the cab area the interior is there it's present it has got table and chairs whether or not the interior has faded over the years i'm not too sure but the interior in here is sort of pretty much pink on the newer models we've got a very pronounced blue and red so i may may take this apart i may repaint that interior if i'm going to put some people in or something like that because it uh, is very very pink at the moment but it's there and it's still it's still intact unlike the newer version we haven't got any ribbing across the roof there there is an area there where you can tell where the injection molding was taking place i don't think i'm going to rub that down it's a 40 year old model at the end of the day it's it's in the condition it is if we have a look at the front there this is the version with the full black window surrounds i prefer this one it's my personal preference i like the full black surround i don't really like that just all yellow front end it just i don't know it just didn't do it for me but but we've also got our still intact intercity apt print there on the front of the nose cone along with its unit number of 370001 and also its headlamps or tail lights depend on which way it's traveling a quick look underneath presents us with the typical silver seal wheels of the time and you can also see it's got the electrical pickups there for its directional lighting and not an awful lot has changed over the years
years with the tilt mechanism that we've got on the new model and the old model it is very much still just sort of a conical area at each end of the actual of the bogey that it either shares or on the singular bogey just to sort of lift and tilt it over from side to side we can see there on the base we've got our old hornby sign an area where you can see the injection molding took place and made in great britain good old great britain so there's a certain amount of detail molded onto the end caps there so you can see the corridor connector and you can see a bit of molded detail for various cables that would have connected between the coaches unlike your newer model this has got a shared shared bogey so with the newer model you've got a bogey which is shared between two coaches so to speak um with the older model it quite literally is a shared shared bogey so you get two sections so if i pull out the next coach you can see there there's the other half of this shared bogey and if i have a look there you can just see how these would slot together and they're actually intact um some of these are broken on ones you see on the internet over the years they just push together and pull apart but you get the impression there there we go of our shared bogey very sparse on the detail compared to the newer one but obviously remember this is a 40 year old model and i wouldn't expect it to have as much embellishment in the detail as the newer model does we'll have a quick look at this van trailer so on the interior this this has got a yellow can trail there to denote its first class the interior is an incredibly pale almost sky blue potentially as i said before with the other unit i may take the interior out repaint it and get it sort of looking a bit more like the newer model a bit more brighter as opposed to this sky blue i've got a feeling i may do some mods with both of these train packs that i've got a hold of nothing too brash but i think i'll definitely uh, spruce up the interior get some people in there and may even fit some interior lighting nothing too harsh though because obviously it's likely to have significant light bleed with this 40 year old model so as before silver seal wheels reasonable molded detail along the lower section and yet again you can see that little sprue there for locating the two sections of the body together that's not a major thing it's a 40 year old model at the end of the day and with this being a, a van trailer here it's also got its own singular bogey at the rear which would then butt up against the ndm power unit so there's a reasonable amount of molded detail there same as the front end this section all the way along here this is just sort of a perspex plastic it's painted onto basically the area with the white line and the dark gray the silver outline around the windows and a yellow can trail that is all sort of part of a perspexy plastic separate unit altogether and a lot of the time they have been scratched and they look really awful over the years but these two sets here seem to be in reasonably good condition little difference on the end of the molding there for the actual corridor so the the top half of this molding is very similar to that of the driving end but at the bottom end we can actually see sort of molded areas to give the impression of say a buckeye coupling and various other areas where you'd have cables connecting and things like that so for a 40 year old model it doesn't look too bad at at all i am going to address the elephant in the room at the moment which is the fact that it's a completely different color to that of the newer model we'll go into more detail in another video but this gray is completely different to uh, the newer model that's been released and in fact it's completely different to that of the the actual apt at crew this is very much just gray but uh, at the time this would have been how they produced them they saw them painting standards were completely different back then so looking at this rear bogey here you can see it's got a completely different type of connection for linking it to the ndm power unit these are often damaged as well when you come to buy these sets online and various other places and these seem to be pretty much intact which is now going to bring us along to our ndm unit if we take a look at this ndm unit we can see here something else that's often broken on these sets is the insulators and the power cable running along the top of the roof this particular ndm from this train pack it's absolutely mint it's in great condition all the parts are there and they're all fitted correctly and you can see here on the top above this bogey it is linked to the bogey is the air Area in which the pantograph will be fitted so i'm just gonna gently slot it on at the top there and you can see it's a massively oversized to be fair but uh, i'm not going to push it down too far because i don't really want to have trouble getting it back off but it does fit it's there it works they are somewhat delicate and a bit fragile these uh, pantographs although they look reasonably robust they are somewhat fragile after 40 years so yeah so at the top it's it's got everything intact on this ndm i can show you now that the other ndm unit that i have there is a little bit of damage not very much there is one part 
of the electrical wire that runs to one of the insulators at the end has separated but it still actually reaches it so a little project for me to uh, rectify and restore that unit otherwise that one is in great condition as well on this side the printed paintwork is still in very good condition we've got our arrows of confusion there we've got our name plate which is just printed on for city of derby and we've got the printed running number of sc49003 if we look at the end of the model you can see we've got a reasonable amount of molded detail here for the corridor buckeye couplings various areas where cables would connect and things like that to the real life model not bad detail for a model as old as this and we can see that coupling connection that links it to the trailer van somewhat slightly differently and somewhat more fiddly but it does go together and it's it's reasonably solid it takes some pulling apart and these are often damaged as well now these are somewhat larger than the newer version connections i'm not i don't particularly like the new connections that hornby have supplied with the new apt but i've i've come to replace them with something completely different that's for another video so when i say they can be damaged if you have a look at this end you can see there that the, one of the sprues there has actually snapped off on this model it's not present but i can also assure you that it does connect up to that other trailer van and i've had this running around the track which you'll have seen as i'm talking to you it runs perfectly fine there's no issues there so i'm not worried about having to change it and things like that they do come up from time to time on the internet maybe i'll be tempted but at the moment i'm not i take our attention to the lower portion of this ndm both bogies are cast they are metal they're not plastic they are very much metal which adds quite some significant weight to the actual model one side is motorized one side is not but both sides are picking up some sort of electrical current the motorized side basically has a ring field motor fitted to it so it does have traction tires and it's basically like looking at the same ring field motor that you used to see your old original 1970s and 80s hsts if we look at the opposite side of this ndm we've got that wonderful and this is one of the things that really sticks out in my memory from when i saw that first train set of the apt in the model shop at newcastle is the intercity apt and the print is still in great condition on this unit and we can just say make out the uh, flash warning print there for overhead wires something i wasn't expecting to actually see on this model but it is there it's not great but it is there to be fair it's a model that does stand up still it's it's there isn't a huge amount wrong really with this model maybe maybe if a couple of years ago i had managed to pick up these two sets i may not have bought one of the new sets but i have bought the new set and i well, bought a 14 car set i don't regret having both in fact it's making very interesting for comparisons the only difference between this ndm and the one out of the other set is the fact that there is one loose bit of wire on one of the insulators and there is a missing pantograph from the other set but we do have the pantograph in this set so for me this is a win-win i've managed to pick up two of the original set in their original packaging although a little worn we've actually managed to have the instruction and service leaflet in one of them we've got one of them that's absolutely mint complete pantograph all of the insulators and things intact the paintwork is really in good condition for a 40 year old model as it is on the other set for me it's a win-win 125 pounds for the pair basically and i think that's an absolute bargain i'm happy with that how i'm going to move forward now with this is well that's up for debate i think this set here this is going to be looking at a sort of restoration and tweak up a bit of it. so i'm sort the interiors out i think add some people maybe making the directional lighting a little bit more reliable it is a bit flickery and things like that just generally give it a bit of an overhaul and just sort of make it a little bit more smart the other set um right so as you can see from some of the footage that has been taking place whilst i've been talking to you you will see that uh, predominantly one set has been running around the other set hasn't been running very much and the reason for that is this set which is what i'm going to call uh set a runs absolutely amazingly really brilliantly set b everything runs the ndm unit runs as well it's just a bit tired if i had to guess i would say that's probably the one that maybe hasn't ran as much over the years it might be the opposite way around but it just sort of it's very stuttery the motor could do with some tlc so to speak however one thing that has been going through my mind is whether or not i should maybe do some extra mods with that uh, could potentially remove the motor so that it just free wheels and maybe have a look at 3d printing the area here on the nose cone and look at actually doing 
a tow unit, so possibly having one that broke down. We won't get into the discussions of the APT broken down, but we could have a unit that's broken down and have it being towed by something like a 47 or 40, something like that. I think that would make for an interesting running on the layout. I am not keen on the idea of doing what other people have done in the past and butchering another unit to make one unit longer. Um, I'm just not up for that at all. Otherwise, two great sets, which are basically cost just over £60 each. That's amazing. That's a brilliant bargain. I'm loving the fact that I have three APTs, to be fair, at the moment. <laughs> I've gone from zero APTs to three APTs. But I thought I'd share this with you. Bargain APTs. They are out there. If you can find them, have a look around. If you can't afford to get one of the newer sets, and trust me, I know how expensive they are. Affording that 14-car set has uh, really been a labour of love that I've wanted one of those from the moment they were announced. I still think these stand up for a 40 year old model. I still think they stand up. There are some significant differences but I still think they stand up. I really hope you enjoyed this video. I've put a video at the top of the screen and there is a playlist there at the bottom. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And why not check out that other little round disc there on the screen, which is the Aiden's Shorts channel, where we bring you our short form content. Thank you very much. And I shall see you again soon. Bye now.